We're gonna find out. Oh, all right. It's powerful now, right? We're putting all of that hand dust in there. I reckon that'll be enough. Okay, go turn it off. So they looked at counter-movement jump at 24 hours, 
They looked at a max sprint speed over 24 hours. After 24 hours, they looked at a, they looked at a, um, they looked, it's hard to think when you're really cold, guys. They looked at uh, a, a perceived muscle <laughs> soreness. So that's just what the person felt like, okay? I feel like shit. <laughs> I feel like I'm in pain. <laughs> Ooh, I just started crossing my legs and got a nice draft. <laughs> Ooh, still nice and cold in here, Ooh. guys. So they look at all, uh, those different performance metrics and fatigue, level of fatigue. Ooh. And basically, what they found was he asked, in the short term, 24 hours, that a cold water submersion was significant, uh, statistically significantly better than passive recovery, which is just doing nothing, and it was also statistically significantly better. Then hot, wall, hot, warm, or hot, cold, sorry, uh, intermittent changes. So going a minute cold, minute hot, shower, minute cold, minute hot. They found that just a solid time of 10 to 15 minutes was the best method. Now, what am I at now? Can you at least help me out with time for that? Uh, four minutes, 14 seconds. <laughs> Even just putting my hands and arms in like this. Yeah. That hurts. It's cold, guys. It's not even the cold that's getting me. It's, it's like it hurts my skin. Yeah. Even my knuckles, my toes. It's, it's a Offensive. I almost can't stand it. It's, it's a lot. It's like being stabbed by a bunch of really sharp needles. So when we started doing this, I was like, uh, hey Devin, I don't think that we're going to be able to last a full 15 minutes, maybe five. Little did I know that it was this bad. This is a lot to handle. So 10 to 15 minutes for those studies, those people that sat in the bar for 10 to 15 minutes, holy shit, that's a lot. I definitely think this is like a whole other level of training. Like you have to train yourself. Up. So <laughs> I think, this is insane. I think what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna try get in here, big boy. Oh. Yes, enjoy it. Ah. It's not that bad, right? It's pretty fucking bad. Why are your so hard? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. So, so Ooh. let me continue with the study, guys. Let me continue with the study. Ooh. So, Ooh. so what are the different pains you made? <laughs> So what they found, guys, and this is actually a perfect type. I think I'm a pussy. Hey, it's <laughs> <laughs> hey, Adrian always says, "Guys, I'm a really good pain threshold." Like, no, you don't. I never say that. <laughs> you don't ever say well, that. Oh god, I know that pretty big for pain threshold. Yeah, for things like internal organs, like a bleeding, ooh, hemorrhaging, head injuries. So right now, ooh. I'm up to about nipple height, guys. Now I've been going in and out with the arms. So I think today my goal is to get the full 15 minutes. I'm not up to the neck though. Uh, it's actually quite uncomfortable in the corners here. So I think next we can get some inner tubes. So five minutes, uh, 55 seconds. Cool, I'm gonna get some, uh, some pool noodles just so it's a bit more comfortable to get down lower, sort of digging into my back and neck. And uh, the goal will be a full 15 minutes to the neck. Okay, um, but this is a nice stepping stone. I think that would be good. Each week, we just take a little bit longer, we're going to the 15 minutes. But I'm going for the full 15 today, because I like this to party. Devin's done ice, ice baths before. He's yeah, got the he's, excuses everywhere. He's regularly, hold on, hold on. He's regularly done them before in rugby. And I finished back in 2016, guys. A full five years ago, I might add. I've never done a proper ice bath. I've, I've barely done, I did one in him. It was a bad setup, it wasn't that cold. And I did like 60 seconds, and I thought, ooh, that was, that was a lot. This hurts. This this hurts a lot. Yeah. Now, the, 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 it's, it's, it's offensive. I'd like to continue with the study analysis, the meta analysis of the 29 studies. Whew, it is actually really cool. So, they found a couple of interesting things. Was that although people got those really good effects at the 24 hour mark compared to passive um, recovery or compared to a hot cold recovery, uh, what they found was by the 72 hour mark, there was negligible difference. <laughs> between the passive, the hot cold, or the cold water immersion group. <laughs> fucking crazy. Between the three different groups. And so, what does that mean? That means that if you're looking at, will this have a positive effect for me in a week's time? No, it's not going to. But for 24 hours, that's important. Because if you're an athlete and you're working really hard, I'm an athlete, day, <laughs> day in and day out, and you're grinding Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and you recover on Sunday. Uh, or if you're an athlete, you're doing two a days, and you're just pulling up sore all the time. This could be a really great option for recovery because it's going to allow you to recover in that short term, that 24 hour turnaround period before your next session. So I think the takeaway is if you are doing a lot of back to back sessions and you're continually fatigued and tired and muscles are sore, like you would see in team sports where they have to do their skills training and their strength training and they have to usually do twice a day trainings very often. 
And not even just that, like, I mean, like you could be a, a, a single rower, like a, a single, you know, style rower, and you might be at the elite level training 12 times a week, two a day, six times a week, you know? So for those sort of people, this could be really beneficial. If you are training twice a week, hey, it's probably not gonna do much for you. So I don't see the point, really. Ooh, I'm getting a little deeper each time. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How are I, you doing this? I, you know, I already told you. It, it's so cold. It, I feel like I'm burning. That's yeah. what it feels like. Now, a oh, couple things to keep in mind safety-wise, which they mentioned in the study as well, guys. A couple safety things to think about. Is one, ow. it's only 10 to 15 minutes. And because we're putting ice in water, even though it's cold water, like the ice now is not really melting, it's sort of got to a point where it's sort of mostly melted, but there are big chunks of ice floating around. So this water is, it's definitely close to do it, but it's not freezing, obviously, right? It'll be a solid yeah, ice. It'll probably be about like five to ten. It's degrees. somewhere in that five, probably about five degrees, I would say, because there's definitely still ice floating around, it's not melting yet. So let's say it's a five degree ice bath. These days are looking at between five and ten degrees, okay, for the ten to fifteen minutes. That's probably not long enough to give yourself hypothermia, but do it. Take a bit of um, common sense approach when you're doing it, guys. Look, that, if you can last fifteen minutes straight off the bed. <laughs> you're probably, you're probably uh, hard enough to be able to handle it. I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm the hardest of men, but I also don't feel like I'm a, a massive horse either. This is offensively painful. It's it's going to take a little while to to get used to this. I feel like. So here's the thing that we're talking about, guys. Ooh. Is that one? First of all, don't do this for half an hour, 45 minutes, where you are going to take yourself hypothermic and die. That's completely stupid, That's all right? Maximum. If you minutes. have any pre-existing health conditions, talk to a doctor before you do this, because you know you don't want to shock yourself, give yourself a heart attack, all right? Ten if, minutes. Perfect. If you are a healthy person and that you think you can take a bit of cold for a time, and you want to try it, try it. You can get out after one minute if it's too cold. You can get out after thirty seconds if it's too cold. Before we started this, I said that I didn't think I was going to do well at all. So yeah, a healthy person who thinks take a lot of He's Italian. He's from he's from he's from the from I'm the not, heat. I'm from the warmer climates. He's from the warmer climates. I like it in the sun. That's right. Uh, um, also, when it comes to warming up afterwards, guys, there's a thing when you're dealing with hypothermic people that are stuck in cold water for a long time and they're freezing cold and they're hypothermic, is that if you warm them up too quickly, um, that can have some dire effects as well. Because all the cold blood is sitting in the extremities and it rushes back to the heart, you can have some very serious uh, uh, issues there. You can have heart attack, you can go into cardiac arrest. So, not that we're anywhere near as cold as those people, or for anywhere near as much time, or we're even close to hypothermic, take your time warming up as well. So it just makes sure you take a nice, uh, common sense, smart approach to it. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Now, I've still got some big old chunks of ice in here as well. It's still cold, guys. I love the ice is melting, don't you? Now, also, someone was like, hey, Kevin Hart's already doing that. And we I was like, like we watched his videos. So <laughs> he's basically doing what I'm doing, but not even as much as he, me. He, he puts his calves in for like five minutes and then he gets down to his waist. I'm not even sure I've seen him go up to the neck yet. So so it's different. Plus, we're much prettier, you know? We're good. Look, we're, I don't know, I Kevin Hart is actually he's in pretty good shape. He's in pretty good shape, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he's in pretty good shape, I guess. He's in pretty good shape, I guess. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <sighs> How are you doing this? I like to party, man. You're crazy. You're actually getting better. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that happy for you. Yeah. All right, you passed your 11 minutes, 40 seconds. Nice. So also, Wim Hof does this for a while. That's something that we might talk about in a later date, is Wim Hof breathing methods. Right now, my breathing's all over the shop. I know that his really helps with this cold water sort of technique. So what is it that it helps with? Does it help with it? Because I'm feeling just a lot of pain. My skin hurts. I feel like, like I said, it feels like I feel like I'm burning. It's, it's, it's a bit too much. Like, I can't quite handle a lot right now. Yeah. Are you, are you like, do you use the Wim Hof breathing to deal with the pain or just the cold First of all, general? I don't know how to do Wim Hof breathing method. I've downloaded this app on my phone about a year and a half ago and I've done zero training exercises. But I might look into it moving forward if it's going to become a regular occurrence. Anyone who comment on this video, is the Wim Hof breathing to handle the cold or the pain? And I think, I think the breathing helps you get into a state, not a meditative state, but where you can handle um, the pain, it doesn't cool you off as much and all going on. Just get to yourself, just for like a minute. Come on, yes! Yes, big dog, commit to it! He's squatting, it's, he's not out to the grass. Come on, get down! It's my feet that hurt the most. Come on, yeah, my toes hurt too. My knuckles and, and ankles, they're, it's all right. they're, they're, they're... Here, get in here. Uh, Come on, Ooh. come on! Get in here, get in here. Go. Get in here. Go. Ah. I'll fight you! Ah. <laughs> Crazy! 
This is, this is rough. Each week we're gonna oh. talk about a new performance metric or some sort of performance tip or trick. Week one is why an ice bath is important. Keep in mind, we're gonna be in the ice bath every day episode. We. <laughs> we. The very liberal <laughs> yes. So we're gonna get Adrian up to the full 15 minutes at some point. I would like to eventually work up to that. Yeah. I thought I would last at least a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the five minutes will be pushing it. No. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You're insane. What's time? What's time? What's close? 13 minutes. 13 minutes, 30 minutes 40 seconds. Okay. About a minute 20 to go, guys. I'm doing the 15, and it was between arms out, arms in, about nipple height, chest height. So it wasn't up to the neck yet, uh, but I'll do that. My goal will be over the next handful of episodes to do the full 15 to the neck. Oh, but we need some like pillows in here or something. I think, we're, need, I think we're gonna need to fit this bad boy out. Yeah, some cool. noodles. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's definitely for the people who stay in for more than 60 seconds at a time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 14 minutes. Okay, I'm on the home stretch, guys. So, comment in the uh, video below in the comment section. Let us know. Uh, also, no mean stuff. Leave me alone. I'm new and I'm trying my best. Hey, you let him have it. He didn't pull his weight. You let him know about it. <laughs> I definitely didn't pull my weight. What are you talking about? So, what we want to know is one, did you enjoy the episode? Two, is there any performance aspects that you want us to research and talk about? Do you know about Wim Hof breathing and how it is used for these ice bars? Three, that. <laughs> Woo. I feel, I'm actually feeling good. Yeah, cool. I'm glad you feel good. I feel awful. Woo. It burns. Uh, Ten seconds. Nice. Uh, ooh. I'm with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Next time.